Here's the situation. You have a discussion topic that students can post to between a start and an end date. The end date passes, and you have a student who has a legitimate reason for missing the due date. You'd like to open it up to just that student so they can post. You don't want to uh, open it up to students who have missed a due date with no legitimate reason. Unfortunately, there's no special access tool like quizzes and Dropboxes to open up the discussion topic for an individual student. This tutorial will show a workaround for allowing you to open up the topic, but to make sure if a student without legitimate reason for missing a due date to not have their post show up for other students. The way the workaround functions is you make the discussion topic moderated and change the due date. This means that you as the instructor have to approve each thread before they are displayed for all students. This also means that you can approve the thread for students who have a legitimate reason for missing the due date and then grade it. And you can ignore or delete the thread for those students who do not have a legitimate reason for missing the due date. It's very important you follow all directions, especially step 15. So I'm going to show you how you do this and then I'm going to show you from this uh, a student perspective in posting and then what you have to do as the instructor to make sure that it's uh, approved. So I'm going to click on the Submission Review tab on the nav bar, click Discussions. What you want to do is click on the, the, the context menu next to the name of the topic. Now I just want to show you, I'm going to use this topic, and you'll notice this topic is has been locked. So a student uh, can see the post, but they can't, they can't get to it. So I'm going to click on the context menu and click Edit Topic. I'm going to scroll down till I see the options area and I'm going to click the checkbox next to a moderator must approve individual posts before they display in the topic. What you want to then do is change either the visibility options if you use that or the locking options if you use that. So what I'm going to do is change the end date till a date that is more appropriate you know, into the future so that the student has access to this. And then what I'm going to do is click Save and Close. When I click Save and Close, you're going to notice a moderated icon next to the name of the topic. Now, what you're going to need your to do is tell your students to go to the submission review and discussions to post their late submission and not through the course content. In the course content area, if you've put start and end dates, you leave those alone. So now what I'm going to do is just do a quick roll switch and view this as a student. Again, I tell the students to go through submission review and through discussions. Now you'll notice that this is open and it says moderated. So as a student, I can click on here and I can start a thread. And they would do their posting. And then you then would click post. You'll notice that this is in red, which means that this is not shown to everybody in the class yet. So now what do you have to do as an instructor? So again, going through the submission review and discussions, not through the course content, you're going to see under the post icon a, a, a little icon with a red exclamation point in it, and that means that, you, that there's one post that's been moderated. What you want to do is click on the name of the discussion topic. You're going to find the post, and it's going to have red next to it, or the thread. You're going to click on the context menu next to the um, thread name, and you're going to click Approve Thread. Now, you're going to approve the thread for those students with legitimate reasons for missing the due date. But you can ignore, or if you want, you can actually delete the post for those students who have not have a legitimate reason for missing the due date. And once you do that, then it becomes available. Uh, if there's a post first, the student can then get this. This then becomes available for everyone. So that's a way to open it up for a student who needs to complete this in a, in a late date. If any other students post, again, just you can just ignore them. Now, the last step that's really, really important is after the due date has passed, in other words, I've changed the date to the 29th here. So after that date is passed, and now the students have posted who had legitimate reasons for being late, 
I want to go ahead and turn off the moderation. And the reason you want to do that is because when you copy your content to the next term's course shell, if you don't do that, it'll stay moderated and you will have to approve all of the posts, which could be a, a little bit of a pain. So what I want to do is click on the context menu next to the name of the discussion, click edit topic. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the moderation by unchecking. I'm going to click save and close. I'll get a confirmation and I will get click yes. So now you'll notice there says no moderation, not moderated. So when I copy my content for next semester, this, this discussion topic is ready to go.